Hey everybody, Harold here. As I promised in my last video, I'm going to do a DAX Power BI time aggregation. I'm going to use actually add durations together, some columns of durations. This is a problem that's been around a long time. I first encountered it when I was given a set of employees uh, daily handle time for phone calls. They wanted to know how much each person was doing in a week, a month, and could I sum the time columns? Well, I've found it around for a long time. All kinds of crazy formulas I found. Went down a rabbit hole, couldn't find anything. And then I happened upon, thanks to Microsoft Hates Greg, Chelsea Iden's duration. It's a beautiful, elegant solution to this problem. And today I'm going to show it to you. You see I have here in Excel a spreadsheet of Formula One world champion drivers and uh, some fake lap times, lap one time, lap two time. It's in Excel, formatted as time. Uh, I'm going to take it into Power BI and show you what the problem is and how Chelsea solved it. So here I am in Power BI. I have my lap times. Um, if you notice, let's go to lap time here. These have turned into text when I brought them over. I had them in, Power, in Excel as time, but they turned into text. I went round and round with this. I tried converting to durations in Power Query, time values, Excel, so on and so forth. Uh, what I was trying to do is just sum the lap times for all the drivers. And here's what happens. New measure. Uh, Lap time, lap one time total equals sum lap one time. Sorry, sum lap one time. Valid formula. Commit it. Okay, no problem with that, but drop a new uh, table in here. Drop driver and our lap one time total. Bam, can't display the visual, see details. Well, the function sum cannot work with values of type string. And that's where everybody got stuck. Started writing these long concatenate formulas, formatting, lin, crazy stuff. And in steps Chelsea Iden. Chelsea was an, is an engineer at Microsoft in charge of these Power BI time functions and so forth. And she created an elegant solution to this problem. And I thank her so much. I've restricted my drivers to the top 10 here so you could see what's going on. <clears throat> but with Chelsea's solution, I was able to not only sum all the drivers' total lap times, but for each lap, and then a total, and also their total times for lap one and lap two. Just what I was looking for. Solved my phone time problem. Here is the solution. Lap one time. So this is Chelsea's duration. It's hard for you to see it all here. Zoom in some. Try to get it on the screen. So Chelsea said, you need to take the whole time duration, 
sum the race time, hour, race, minute, second. Call that total seconds. Convert that into integer value of total number of seconds. Then she took that total number of seconds, did the 3600 calculation here to pull out the number of days. Once she pulled out the number of days, she used the modulo, the remainder from that, and she did it again to pull out the number of hours. So then she has days and hours and another remainder. Well, she takes that remainder, pulls out the number of minutes. Then she's got days, hours, minutes, and one more remainder. That remainder should be seconds. Then it's reformatted to read days, hours, minutes, seconds. So you break it down into integers, add it back together, and convert it back to text, and it, it works. It's awesome, as you can see from my results. So there's really not much more to this video. Let me zoom out a little bit. I just wanted you to have this in your toolbox. In case you come across the problem I did, you won't have to go down this rabbit hole. I will put a copy of Chelsea's duration in my description so you can just copy it and use it in your PBIXs. I hope you really found this one helpful. Like I said, I looked around for it a long time and Microsoft hates Greg and a blog post were about all I could find. So I hope you find it and I hope it helps you. Hope you liked this video. If you did, please like it, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thanks, everyone.